All right, this is Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 3. We're going to continue talking about multiplication, uh, size of the group, and arrays, and all that sort of stuff. But we are going to throw in a new concept called number bond. For example, a number bond might be, um, for 15, we might say it's 5, 5, and 5. So this is a number bond for 15, and this number bond represents the concept of 3 times 5, as in 3 groups of 5. And so that's what a number bond is in this lesson. So for this problem, we're going to take a look, and it says there are blank oranges in each basket. How many oranges are in 6 baskets? Well, we're going to start by saying, well, there's four oranges in each basket, because we can see four right there. All right, and then uh, let's continue, and it says number of groups. Well, there are six groups, because I can count that there are six baskets, and there's four in each basket. So the multiplication is going to be 6 times 4, which is 24. And total, there are 24 oranges all together. So remember, this is an example where we're talking about groups and equal sizes. So this is, there are four group, oops, in this case, there's not four groups. There are six groups of four. In other words, six times four. Now we're talking about an array. So they give us essentially the same problem, only now it's an array. And in this case, it says there are how many peppers in each row? So we can say, well, there's three peppers in each row. So the answer there is three. And then how many peppers are in six rows? Well, let's keep going and we'll find out. Number of rows, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six rows. Um, there are six rows. And there are three peppers in each row. That's the size of each row. So it's customary in the United States to write that as six times three. And if the kids need to count every single pepper, that's okay for them to do so. Of course, at this point, we want them to start skip counting. Um, they could either skip count per row. So they can do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. They might do that in order to find 18. Or they may skip count by column. And notice that this is 6 plus another 6 is 12 plus another 6 is 18. Either way is fine. And if they're not quite up to skip counting right now, that's okay too. In any case, students will see that there's 18 peppers all together. So in this array, we had six rows of three peppers, and that is written as six times three. And the last one, it says draw an array using the factors four and two. Now it just says four and two. It doesn't say four has to come first. But if we're going to do that, students are very likely to do four rows of two, in which case it would look like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now if students wanted to, they could do two rows of four, in which case that would look like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. In either case, we're going to see that there's eight stars. So the students in this case are going to see that four times two equals eight. And they're going to see that this is, oops, whoa, it's not four. It's going to be two times four equals eight. And we're, you can see that the students should by now be starting to see the commutative property in action. But then the last thing is it says draw a number bond that represents the amount in one row. So I'm going to use this one as our example because that's the one that students are most likely to do. So the number bond would start with an 8 
and showing the amount in one row. So we have four rows of two. So our number bond is going to look like this. And that's what our number bond would look like.